What's up Mindset Runners? In this video I'm going to be talking about being able to trust your coach or being at least enough versatile to make your training plan work for you. Let us know in the comments if you like hearing about this kind of content or if you'd like us to talk about something specific to you. And without further ado, let's get into it. Just gotta say, this is dedication. I'm out running, I'm out vlogging, in the rain. Doesn't matter what weather it is, doesn't matter how I feel, get out there, enjoy it. I just like to talk about something that means quite a lot to me because it's ultimately what helped me get through Couch to 5K. There are three main tips in this video, so watch out for all of them. Tip number one, trust your coach. Now that might be the Couch to 5K coach, that might be a professional coach that you've paid for, but ultimately, if you don't believe that you're going to achieve what your coach is telling you to do, you've already lost the battle. Take each run, take each session as it comes and just absolutely smash it in the face. Now, if you're struggling to find faith in the coach's words, or if you're struggling to actually believe in what they're telling you that you can do, speaking specifically about the couch to 5k coaches then adapt adapt each run for how you think you can handle it for example i'm going to spew some numbers out but hopefully it makes sense if you're doing a week four couch to 5k run and that's a three minute run five minute run three minute run five minute run and if at the end you're really struggling you've done your three you've done your five you've done your next three but you just don't feel like you've got it in you to do another five. Don't get me wrong, it's tough. Then adapt it on the fly. Give yourself a little bit longer recovery time. Maybe walk for an extra two minutes so that you only have to run the last three minutes. The important thing here is to not consider it as a failure. You are out running. You are making progress. You are off the couch. You are out putting miles on the ground. So under no circumstances, take that achievement away from yourself. You are doing great. And the best way to look at it is, any progress is more than no progress. At least then you can start looking at the progress you've made and believing in your own words and what you can achieve. That might lead on to trusting in other coaches, that might lead on to becoming a coach yourself. But whatever it is, find what makes you trust your coach. Tip number two, intuitive eating. The best thing you can do is listen to your body. If your body wants to eat chocolate, eat chocolate. If your body wants to eat healthy food, eat healthy food. It's all about making sure you've got a balance and not overindulging. It's okay to have a cheeky snack every now and then, but just don't go overboard on it. The most common thing that I see people doing is over pressurizing themselves to eat a certain diet, to stick to a certain plan. And it's just not achievable for most people. Most vloggers or influencers that are living some kind of healthy eating lifestyle have done it for years. They haven't just developed these plans. They've built these routines and they've, they've built these habits. And ultimately that's the hardest part to do so just take it step by step work out exercise stretch and keep hydrated and listen to what your body actually wants to consume you need more energy your body will tell you to eat more food it's not the healthiest of things but sometimes I've gone out and done a massive bike ride and a massive run on just two bits of toast in the morning I didn't consciously think about not eating I wasn't even aware that I hadn't eaten I certainly felt it after the workouts though and my final tip tip number three almost got the number wrong there, is track your activities, log the activities. It's so easy to overlook what progression you've made, how far you've come, and it actually gives massive insights to understand why a, a certain activity was hard or why you struggled. It's just really good to see how far you've come. There are plenty of really easy to use apps, Strava, Runkeeper, Kamut, and actually so many that it's hard to list all of them. Between me and my mom, we use a couple of them. And if anybody needs any kind of help with them, then pop something down in the comments and we'll be more than happy to help you. If you're getting value out of this kind of content, like and subscribe. And don't forget the notification bell. Life and love, guys. I'll see you in the next one.